Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing a conditional probability density function. Suppose that x and y are jointly distributed on the set of points x goes between 0 and 1, and y goes between x and 2x with density f of x y equals x squared plus y times a constant c of proportionality. So we wish to find, find the conditional distribution of x given that y is equal to y. At the point x knowing y. So we recall our formula for this conditional dist distribution. This will be the joint PDF of x and y over the marginal fy of y. So let's find out what this marginal distribution is. So fy of y. So to do this, we'll plot our region of integration. So here's our region of integration, x and y. x goes between 0 and 1. y goes between x. So this is my value y equals x. And this is my value y equals 2x. x equals 1, and this is line y equals 2x. And so here's our region of integration, this triangular region. And so now what I need to do is I need to figure out fy of y. So how do we do that? So what will fy of y be? fy of y will be the integral from negative infinity to infinity of f of x, y, dx. So we need to find the range of x in this region if we know that y is equal to y. So if y is equal to y, that's my value of y, what will x go from? x will go from this line over here up to either this line over here or this line over here. So we need to figure out the range of x. So on this line over here, let's figure this out. So where will x go from in this region? So x goes between, on this line over here, y equals 2x is the left boundary. On this boundary, x is equal to y over 2. So x is equal to y over 2 on that left boundary. And the right boundary of this region is either what? Is either x, x equals y on the right boundary. We see that x is either equal to y or x could be equal to 1. Now, y equals x goes like this, and so which of these values are you choosing? So it looks like in here, this is x equals 1. So you're choosing, if you're before 1, then x selects y. If you're after 1, or at this value over here, then you select 1. So let's figure this out. So what will happen over here? So here's my value of y. So if y, so x, is equal to a piecewise function, it's equal to y if y is less than 1, or it's equal to 1 if y is bigger than or equal to 1. So if y was equal to 3 quarters, for, uh, if y was equal to 1.5, for example, then x would go from this value over here, which would be um, y over 2, so this would be 3 quarters, all the way over to 1. And so what we have over here is we have that x is really equal to the minimum of y and 1 in the right boundary. So our left boundary point, x goes, is y over 2. Our right boundary point is the minimum of y and 1. And so what's our fy of y? So our fy of y will be the integral from 
the minimum of y and 1 up to, oh, that's the right boundary, so we do the, that's the left boundary. So we want to do the left boundary first. So the left boundary is going to be y over 2 up to the minimum of y and 1. And then our PDF is going to be x, a constant c, x squared plus y, and I have a dx. And so what we'll do is we'll integrate this. So we're going to have an x cubed over 3 plus xy evaluated from the minimum of y and 1 to y over 2. And so the top limit is going to give us the minimum of y and 1 cubed over 3 plus y times the minimum of y and 1. And from this, I'm going to subtract off the bottom limit. So I have a y over 2. So y over 2 cubed is going to be y cubed over 8. So this will be a y cubed over 8 times 3 is 24. And if I plug in y over 2, this will have a minus, a plus over here, y squared over 2. And so this expression over here gives us the marginal distribution of y, where y goes between 0 and 2. And so now our final answer, even though the denominator is relatively messy, is our final answer will be the joint distribution. So one thing to, important to realize is that this is all multiplied by c, a constant c. There's a c over here in the marginal distribution, and there's a c in the joint distribution. That c will cancel from both terms. So our final answer is f x y equals y of x given y is going to be, this is our, here's our denominator. Our denominator is the minimum of y and 1 cubed over 3 plus y, the minimum of y and 1 minus y cubed over 24 plus y squared over 2. And then on top we have x squared plus y. So this is valid in what region of x? This is valid in the region of x that is between y over 2 and the minimum of y over 2. So the range of x over here, we have to say that this is only valid when x is between y over 2 and the minimum of y and 1. And the range of y is therefore between 0 and 2. So we pick our value of y first. And then based on what our value of y is, we construct a range of x. And once we know the range of x, we see that this expression over here is our conditional distribution of x, given that y is equal to y. So in conclusion, when our region of integration has limits that depend on x and y, the marginal distribution may have a relatively complicated form. Nonetheless, we can find an expression for it and put it into the denominator, and the, as the numerator is always the joint PDF of the random variables. Thank you very much.